think I just remembered something. I saw you in my dream before. Wait, there's something on your collar. It says... Raffles? But who tamed you and why are you here all alone? Anyway, I think we should head home. <gasps> wait! Raffles, wait for me. Where are you going? You... you found the horse. Good boy, good boy. So, let's finally feed it some sugar and let's put on a saddle. And now we can head back home. Let's leave the past behind. Walk with me. There's something else. Are you ready? I can already see the stable. I'm glad the fog is almost gone. Okay, everyone, so this is what I have so far. I do hope this table is to your liking. This is your new place. I already prepared some fresh water and some hay and... Hmm, I actually need to think of a name for you. But first, let me just take off that saddle because I want you to feel nice and comfy in your new home. So, you can stay here and I can now show Raffles around the farm. Here we have my wheat fields and here's my flower garden with my beautiful cherry tree. I hope you like it so far. And this is my house, this is where I live. And I cannot wait to show you how it looks like inside. Come on in. Oh, so what do you think? Hmm? Are you interested in my recipe book that is completely empty? Oh, wh where did you go? You wanted to see the backyard? I'm gonna be honest, there's not much to see here. Hmm? What is it, Raffles? What are you barking at? There's... There's nothing in there. You know what? Let's let's just go back inside, maybe. The sun is setting and it's gonna get dark pretty soon. But tomorrow we can play outside if you'd like. Good morning, Raffles. As promised, we're going to play a little bit. What do you say? Now, go get it. Go get it. You have to bring the stick back to me. It's called fetch. You, you go and fetch. Okay. Let's try it, let's try it. Um, there's a sick and go get it! Come on, be a good boy. Be a good boy. Fetch! No, almost. Okay, we'll definitely work on that. First things first, today I have to do some mining because last time I used up almost all of my essential materials such as diorite and I know the mine is still a mess but last time when I was looking for diamonds I found this abandoned mine shaft. I've mined this staircase. I also made my own kind of mine shaft. And now watch this because this is the cool part. go upstairs a little bit. This is my iron mining level. Let's just make sure a ruffles made it safely. Okay. So this is the main tunnel. And here, as you can see, I had to close down this one because there was a cave full of water and we don't want that. But these are good. These are my 2x2 two two mining tunnels and this one is 3x3 three three, and it's going to be the main underground minecart highway. But of course, we are here to mine diorite, so let's get to it. The last one. Whoa, I made quite a cave here. I know I left out a lot of copper ore, but I don't know. I just don't feel like I need it right now. Now I have to light it all up and let's craft a ladder so that I can still have access to these copper ores whenever I will need them. And when it comes to you, buddy, I think you will have to just teleport. Okay, so I think I have enough diorite for the project, but I am definitely going to need more iron. Okay, that should do it. So let's head back up. I think Raffles is really starting to feel at home here. I mean, look at him go, you chunky cutie. All right, so next up on my to-do list is stopping by the orchard for a little bit to gather some dark oak and spruce wood. And this project is super exciting because I want to build a barn with a huge fence of meadow for sheep and cows to finally be able to progress a little bit further, get some leather and enchant all my tools and armor. And I've run out of cobblestone, so I gotta pick it up from the spider mine real quick but first let me just fix this guy okay i think i will need a few more stacks to be able to craft a bunch of axes and finally finish this chopping session and yeah that should do it okay so now back to the orchard and let's get some more chopping done and it just started raining nope 
it's a full-blown thunderstorm. I mean, it could be pretty cozy if it wasn't for the bolts of lightning. Hopefully, my house is not gonna burn down, because I did craft a lightning rod, but I do wonder what range it has. Maybe I shouldn't worry too much. Maybe I should just go back to work and get stuff done. And I guess I still need to light this area up, because yet another chopping session turned into running for my life, but at least this time Raffle's here to help. Ouch! Sir, excuse me. This is a bit... Ouch! This is a bit unfair. Wait. Don't tell me. Are skeletons afraid of dogs? I guess they are. This is what you get when you pick a fight with me. At least we got some bones for raffles. And now it's finally time to sleep, because it's been a pretty long day and it's quite late right now. So let's rest. Alright, we've got a brand new day and there's still quite a lot of materials to gather, including the hay bales. And for that, we're going to need a whole lot of wheat. Okay, that took me a long time, but this should be enough. And as always, I'm going to recycle all of the seeds. And now we can craft some hay bales and some glass bottles. All of this because for the first time, I'm going to try crafting some mud bricks. And from what I know, first I'm going to need some water and some dirt to turn it into mud. And let's see... Just like that, perfect! Now if we combine it with some wheat, we get packed mud. Let's get some more. And now with that, I think I can craft... Mud bricks, yes, that's right. Now let me very quickly go to sleep and I'll be right back to gather more mud. Okay, so rather than digging up a bunch of dirt and then turning it into mud, I figured out a much more satisfying way to do that. And this is actually so nice and relaxing. I just go around and gather more mud. And then after I pick it up, I craft it into some more mud bricks. Okay, and I think we have more than enough. I was also thinking about the place where I should build the barn and this area over there looks like a perfect location. After I connect it back to my cottage, I think it's gonna look fantastic. Also, there are lots of horses running around, so at some point I'll take them all to my stables. Alright, so I think it's high time I take both Raffles and my horsey and head out to gather all of the materials in one place to finally start working on the barn. Okay, first things first, let's set up a few chests where I can temporarily store all of the necessary supplies. And now let's put down a bed. And I think the preparations are somewhat done. I also crafted some more barrels just in case. Please stay here. And I think it's time to start with some good old terraforming. That was some proper dirt placing, and I'm super happy with the result. I mean, look at this. Fire breath and open sky. Now all that's left is to remove some grass, and now I can start planning the barn's layout. For the foundation, I decided to go with my favorite polished granite slabs, mixed with some granite, polished granite, and some mud bricks here and there, so that it all looks nice and texturized and, well, interesting, even from afar. And while texturizing, I'm trying to avoid any repetitive patterns, and when I notice them, I try to break them up with a different block, so that it doesn't end up looking odd. I'm going to leave a little space for the windows on each side and I think I got the main idea of how I want it to look like so let's give it a go and just like that the main structure is done and now I'm gonna add some windows and start working on the interior because there's still a lot to be done here as you can see but overall I'm quite happy with how it looks like so far I especially love these jungle fences and the front of the barn is looking presentable however I feel like I'm gonna need just a tiny bit more space over here right so over here I think a bunch of pillars could look nice I guess it looks alright, but maybe I should just get rid of the ones by the walls, because I like how they connect to them. And now let's maybe put some acacia fences on top of them. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let's go for it. Hmm, no, 
looks a bit too bland, so I guess I'll just try a different option. How about this? Yep, let's go for it. And now let's repeat it on the other side. This is already looking so much better. So now I guess I'll try out some spruce fence gates. Oh yes, look at this arch! So I really wanted to add a little attic where I will be able to get some sleep, but to also store some hay bales for the animals. And I'm gonna use their cook slabs to match the roof. I honestly feel rich after our iron mining session, so why not get some of these fancy lanterns? Okay, it looks like the attic is finished, so let me show you around real quick. I did that a bit, so now I don't have to go all the way back to my house every single night. I also placed down lots of chests and barrels for storage, and of course, a bunch of hay bales. I also made sure to add this railing made out of spruce fence gates, and I think so far it's looking very cozy, although there are a few more details to add both to the interior and the exterior. So first I think I'm gonna start by fixing the floor. And I'm sorry, Horsey, but I need to relocate you. The same goes for you, Raffles. So I'm so sorry, but you gotta stay here while I'll be working on the floor. Okay, so the floor and the front of the barn are both finished. And now I think this area could use some trees. Somewhere around here, maybe? Let me see what I can come up with. Okay, so after many trials and errors, I am very happy with this poplar tree design. And now that I have the main idea of how I want it to look like, let me build a few more. This is very strange, but ever since I built this barn, I feel like every single Enderman from the neighborhood decided to just move in. But anyways, I finally finished all of the trees and I think it turned out absolutely amazing if I do say so myself. I tried to make each variant a little bit different. I even added a cute baby tree and one with a broken branch. And look at this view during the sunset. Isn't it amazing? Now, the last thing that I need to do before I bring all of the animals is to obviously fence off this whole area. So let's get to it. so that's done although i'm gonna need just a few more fence gates to finish it off i went for oak fences and i think it was a great idea it's so rustic and beautiful and also look at all the space my animals will have all to themselves all right so i went ahead and connected the barn back to my house with a very simple trail i added a few more bushes here and there some oak slabs and most importantly a few fence gates and that actually got me thinking that i need to work on our jumps a little more Maybe later I could build a little training area over here, we'll see. Okay, so next up I gotta go grab Raffles and we're all gonna go get some cows and sheep to actually populate the barn. Hmm? Where is he? He was right there when I was... He's gotta be here somewhere. Uh, okay, he's he's not here. And I was home a second ago, so he's definitely not there. Where did he go? Doesn't make sense. Wait. I know. There's only one place he could have gone. Life is not always still. Find your way back. Let it Come on. Just a little bit more. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Yes, good horsey. He's gonna be here. He's gonna be here. He's... He's here. Raffles, you got me worried sick. Wait. What is this? 
you dug up this hole all by yourself? There's something inside. What is this? A book? How did you find it? This is so strange. Let me see what's inside. It's... It's not just a book, it's a... It's a recipe. So let's maybe go back home and let's see if we can cook it. Peel the beets, cook potatoes... Well, it looks like we're missing one last ingredient. There we go. And this is going to be your new home from now on. Well, at least for a while. Now, Ruffles. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me, buddy. You stay here. You look after that cow. And you do not move. No more of those shenanigans, okay? Thank you. I'm kind of rocking it as a cowgirl. Okay, I think that should be enough for the start. And now all that's left is to breed them. And I think they're too far. Mm, okay. Gotta bring you a little bit closer. Okay, perfect. Now, just for the sake of convenience and not running back and forth all the time, I think I'm gonna make some wheat fields right around here. Okay, time for a little progress update. As you may already see, I did add a bunch more poplar trees to make the farm look more cohesive. And I must admit, I absolutely love it. I feel like now my little hill house looks even better. Also for each tree, I added a little bit of shrubbery so that it blends in a little bit better with the surroundings. On top of that, I wanted to make the path surrounding my stables a little bit more natural. So I added more coarse dirt here and there along with some hay so that it looks more like it's actually being used. Although the trail to the barn is not finished yet, it's so much fun to ride my horse around here, especially after I added these gorgeous wheat fields on that sloping hill I built. I made sure to frame it with some stone walls and I added lots of torches to prevent any mob spawns. And to tie it all up, I placed down some more oak and azalea leaves and I think the farm has never looked any better. Now there is just one last thing I gotta do before I go on a killing spree. So the main idea is that here inside of the barn I'm gonna have quite a lot of cows and sheep but their only purpose will be repopulation. And if I place down some trapdoors on top of these fence gates, the babies will be free to go while the adults stay here. And once the babies grow up, you know. And I just noticed that there was one singular grass block under this composter which may have caused a little grass outbreak. So yeah, this is what happens when you try to save up on coarse dirt. Okay, we saved some cows so now I can do that guilt free. We have a whole ton of fresh beef now. So we can finally try out this recipe Ruffles found in the woods. Let's maybe use jungle wood for an extra flavor. Perfect. Now let me just look up the recipe real quick. And okay, we didn't get the right order, but I think it doesn't really matter that much. So first we gotta grate the beets and then we are going to bake some potatoes. So let me grab a plate from my cupboard and the potato is ready. Now I just have to combine everything according to the recipe. So first we take the beetroot, then we take the baked potato and last but not least, our steak and oh it really worked we've got a steak dinner i'm so excited i can't wait to try it so let's sit at the table and let's see if it's as delicious as it looks like hmm? it must be another dream but i don't remember falling asleep
moment. This, this is not a dream. It's a memory. Thank you.